lost in the shuffle and the madness of the offseason, it's, hey, the Vikings drafted another first-round cornerback. Jeff Gladney, El Jefe, coming out of TCU, number 31 overall. Now, Zimmer loves him some cornerbacks, and he, he always is going to get the men on an island. And the, they definitely need to retool after last season's absolute bat bleep insane disaster season. Xavier Rhodes fell off, was not worth the money. Trey Waynes is like, yeah, uh, McKenzie Alexander is actually kind of good, except all three of them are gone. Uh, and now just massively retooling and overhauling the cornerback room. Enter one, Jeff El Jefe Gladney, the pride of the Horn Frogs, a dude who I love during the draft process, and I, I think will be a day one starter for the Vikings pretty easily. I think you can pretty much pencil him in. So let's talk about uh, El Jefe today. So uh, background, 5'10". Buck 91, redshirt senior, does turn 24 in December. Uh, former three-star recruit coming out of New Boston, Texas. Uh, was a four-year starter for Gary Patterson and the Horn Frogs. 2018, a redshirt junior year was the breakout. A 90.6 PFF grade, uh, a 45 passer rating when thrown at, which is... Good. It's pretty good. Uh, two picks, 12 passes broken up. Uh, probably could have declared last year. Uh, given last, see, uh, last uh, draft year's cornerback room... I actually think he could declare and probably would have been a first round pick, but decided to come back for 2019, ran it back solid again. Uh, first team, all big 12 uh, combine. So one of the big things about Gladney is that his recovery speed, I think that's one of the most underrated parts of his game is that whenever he gives a cornerback uh, wide receiver, some room, he just tracks it down. He hits another gear. It's actually really impressive, but you know, the four, four, eight, I don't think that necessarily shows his real speed. Uh, that shows up on tape. Uh, he did run a four three eight forty on campus before, but either way, it doesn't really matter. Checks all the boxes. It's fine. A agility wise, could do a little bit better, but it is what it is. Uh, but what I love about him and Cameron Dantzler, the third round pick uh, out of Mississippi State, is that both of them are press man cornerback specialist. I mean, they just love getting belt buckle to belt buckle against the other team's wide receiver one or two and just, hey, I'm going to follow you around all day, whether you're at the X, whether you're at the Z, whether you're in the slot and it's going to be a very, very bad day for you. And that's why I absolutely love and adore about Gladney. I think he's just a cocksure alpha dog. He's going to impress the coaching staff right away. And Zimmer, with cornerbacks, he does tend to be a little bit hesitant with rookies. I mean, look how long it took Waynes to finally get on the field. You know, it took him two full years before they were like, all right, you should probably take over. Terrence Newman, take a seat. As well as Mac Alexander was lost for a while until he finally uh, found his way in year three and year four. But I think Gladding was probably the most NFL-ready cornerback in the draft. Uh, the age certainly helps, you know, being a wretched senior, being uh, 23 when uh, the draft came around, plus being a four-year starter. Certainly is going to help. Uh, he, he just does have a, a lot of uh, NFL-ready refinement and technique. And I actually think that he's one of the easier set it and forget it cornerbacks in this draft. And, yes, the cornerback room uh, is undefined at the moment. I mean, yeah, you do have Hughes coming off an of injury. Hopefully that next is going to be good to go. He is another year removed from the ACL. That can only benefit him, plus Holton Hill. Uh, he's there. And also he's unsuspendable now except for PED. So that's – got it. Yeah, so those two are the incumbents, but I don't think the roles are necessarily etched in stone, so I could easily see Gladney uh, supplanting one of them. Yeah, I think with a strong training camp and preseason, uh, Gladney, or hell, even Dantzler too, uh, could absorb the lion's share of snaps to start the season. I mean, it, it wouldn't shock me at all if your uh, top three cornerbacks at the end of the season in terms of snap counts are Gladney, Dantzler, I'll throw in Mike Hughes. Sure, why not? Uh, but I, I just love uh, Gladney's attitude. Uh, I think it comes out on the tape uh, as well as like any interview with him, like uh, just hearing him talk like, you know, like this is a guy who can handle himself. He, he plays bigger than his size. He's not scared of anyone, uh, which is great, especially in this division with some pretty solid wide receivers. Also, like we said, that insane recovery speed where he almost... It, it almost seems like he baits quarterbacks. Like he sort of like lays off. He's like, you gonna throw? You gonna throw? Oh, you are throwing. Woo, I'm in. And he either breaks it up the pass or uh, comes down with a pick. So that, that's something you can only do if you're supremely confident in yourself and, and you can back it up. Like we're talking about actual confidence, not Fred Smoot fake confidence. Yeah, but Jeff Gladney, he, he's got the attitude. He's got the game. I'm just really fired up to see uh, what he's going to do on the field for the Vikings. And I, I do think that he starts from day one. Uh, be your thoughts. El Jefe uh, coming in as a rookie. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. More support the work. Pull some on the Venmo. Uh, but until next time, Skull, production value. 